Hello and thank you for watching. This is Crash Course in My Hair, Section 5. Uh, this is the second video in the example. Uh, continuing from uh, before, uh, looks like I just uh, finished the uh, part of the hair that will be affected by non-normal gravity. So I created the hair. Um, and I'm setting up the, the air dynamics, getting ready to uh, style it with the air dynamics. As you can see, I uh, do a heavy extreme on the uh, left hand side of the face just to get all the hair over there so there's no uh, wandering stranglers in the middle. <coughs> and I'm setting up the current so I can work with those curves instead of uh, the spiky curves. Now I'm going to the specific UVs. As you can see here, I have a ton of uh, CVs on the long hair. But uh, you saw I selected the front UVs, or sorry, the other uh, front CVs, and uh, put a transformer on it. That way, uh, or transform constraint, that way I can actually control and manipulate uh, the front part of the curves instead of it uh, totally being affected by the aerodynamic. Now it's just filling with the numbers to get the hair to look how I want it to. Looks like I was pleased pleased with that result. So now it's time for me to uh, get the bangs taken care of. So I'm getting that done. see I'm setting up the constraints like uh, usual so that it goes around the face the nose and all that and after I set everything up it's once again back to the uh, the air to get the styling of the hair since it kind of sways down the face and to the left of the eye I'm trying to do I'm going to do my best to make sure it gets as best as possible as close as possible before I actually start doing some fine detail which I won't be doing considering uh, this is an example, this is just more like how to get the general basis of what the hair should look like or how, how you can style the hair. Right now I'm selecting the CVs and like before uh, I'm going to put a transform constraint so after I uh, start slapping air on it the uh, transform constraint will make sure those CVs stay in place. See, I'm working in sections. The uh, tip of the bangs, or I'm sorry, the base of the bangs are uh, I'm pleased with. So I uh, set the curves there, put another transform constraint, and now I'm going to be uh, working with the air again to try to get the the swift and the sway from the bangs. That looks good. So you can see I set it to the current. Go to the start, and I'm putting everything as uh, static. It looks like the style is generally done. Now it's time for me to trim the hair. Going to start curves, going to a sub object, and going to CVs, and selecting the lasso tool, selecting the CVs I want to trim out with the hairstyle, and just deleting them. Now it's time for me to uh, work with a little bit of global redoing, I suppose I can call it. So I select all the CVs and putting a lattice tool on it, just so I can uh, modify everything just a little bit.
see I'm just doing a little push, it's not too much. Problem is, um, with running fraps, with running the hair dynamic system, with all these curves in Maya, that computer is really starting to chug, so you can see it's just skipping around, making things a little bit difficult for me. Now I'm doing some uh, fine detail work on the uh, tips of the hair get it to look a little bit more like the uh, the picture, the reference photo. Alright, now it's time for me to uh, do the final touch, make it look a little bit more natural, so I put it back in the dynamics, make everything dynamic, and sign all the constraints to it, and now I'm uh, just making gravity kind of release it from the constraints, and I am putting the start curve attribute up a little bit so uh, the dynamics stay with the uh, curve. But really that's it in terms of uh, general hair, <coughs> excuse me, general hairstyling. Uh, thank you very much for watching, and next video I'm going to talk about color and shading.